Welcome back to my channel. This is Mac and today I'm kind of starting off a little different because I got something cool in the mail that I won off of Tony the Technician's YouTube channel. Kind of cool. I never usually win anything but I always put my name in for everything. So I kind of wanted to share this. He's a big component of Tekton Tools and I have not had any of their tools yet. And I won this. They sent it to me really quick too, super nice. It's a half inch ratchet, silver head with um, locking adjustments here. Now I have 3 8 version of this, not the Tekton one, but but standard Harbor Freight Pittsburgh stuff. About the same, same size, and this is what I'm pretty much upgrading from. I had this old Craftsman one, had forever, and I also have a breaker bar too, the Pittsburgh one from Harbor Freight. This thing is mainly what I use. I break it usually with this on my big lugs and then I'll switch to this and then go from there. But now that I got this bad boy, I can break them and ratchet them off and I have a swivel. And these things lock in really nice. Like this, this is so satisfying that click and it locks in there pretty well. So I'm Super stoked to have look at that, the teeth on here. Oh, so many. Okay, so that's the tool I got. Super nice. This junk. Anyway, I also got a really nice hoodie. And. A sticker so I don't know really nice I've got to use it uh, working on the car already um, we were working on um, tires I got some new tires on the BMW and I use this to break the sockets uh, break the lugs off just to try it out this really does lock in really well this pivot right here. You can set it. I'm actually, I kind of had it like this to break the lugs off so I have the clearance. And it stayed really well. So, am I a Tekton fan? I only have one tool. So, this is a pretty good quality tool. I really like it. Only time will tell. But I really want to get some extension um, ratchet wrenches from them. They have the long ones of these and they're double sided. I really want to get those. Um, that's been something on my list, but good quality tool costs good quality money. So, so at this time, just by using the tool a couple times, kind of a fan, I really like it. Maybe investing more money in detecting tools. So I'm gonna take this nice little sticker Add it to my little sticker wall of fame over here. And uh, I don't know, that's Florida, wearing sweatshirts. What do you think? But I'd like to hear your comments on Tekton Tools uh, down below and what your thoughts are. Or if you know Tony the Technician, he goes over tool reviews and stuff like that all the time. And he also has a third gen Camaro. Let me know your guys' thoughts, guys. And next, we got to go work on my buddy's car. And i got to tell you why I haven't put up a video in a while. So let me get into that real quick. So the reason why I haven't posted a video in a while, come down in some hard times, like a lot of us have. And I just haven't had a lot of motivation to work on the Camaro. And you may ask, oh yeah, coronavirus, and a lot of people losing their jobs and everything. That's not it. This is what happened. 
brother comes down, rolling his 5-0 in my neighborhood, and you know what he does? He comes and beats my car in a race. A 5-0 Mustang, Fox body. He's like, oh, I got turbo and all this good stuff and all these new, new tires. And he mopped the floor with me. So, what does a normal guy do when he gets beat like that? Goes in his closet and cries a little bit, you know, just like the rest of us. Or does he start shopping the internet for um, more power? So I did both. You know, I sat in the closet for a little while, contemplating like, why did a Mustang have to beat me? At least it's not a Miata, things like that. And I decided I need more power. Does this do it for me? No, I need, I want to, I want to, I want a supercharger or something. It needs more stuff in here. I need boost. Uh, my FI tech unit takes it. I even have boost reference off of my aeromotive thing. Uh, it's all ready for it. Now is the motor ready for it is a better question. Probably not. I don't have forge rods and pistons and all that stuff. But what I do have is um, a decent job that pays me money. Yeah, wait. I just forgot. I have a wife that tells me I can't do stupid shit like this. So I'm kind of torn here. I need I need money for more power so I could beat my brother's Mustang. And then I could post a video of me beating him in another race. I'm sure you guys love to see that. Um, actually, yeah, I'd love to hear from comments from you guys uh, if you want to see what his Mustang looks like. It's actually pretty nice. A little jerk face. And why would a brother be on the other spectrum? Why would he have a Mustang? Why would he be a big Mustang owner, lover? I think he should be more like me, have a Camaro or maybe a Firebird or something like that. And it goes worse. Like, he has all the Fords. He has an F-150, he has a Ford Edge, and he has the Mustang. So, I guess he's like a Ford fanboy. Can't fault him for it. Love him. He's a great guy. Serves in the Air Force. But, you kind of see my dilemma. But anyway, with that being said, I'm out of the closet now. Oh wait, I totally came out wrong. But, I'm, it, you get my point. I'm ready to start working on the Camaro again. We have some uh, more projects to do. Uh, for instance, get the hood mounted on there. And also, I need to solve some other issues. I have oil coming out of these baffles right here. It's kind of spraying all of my engine. So, I'm going to fix that. And then, I got to start drawing up plans on what we're going to do for more power. And, oh, oh yeah. Uh, I have some stuff set up for rims and tires. And... Here in the next few episodes, you're going to see me post some pictures of maybe some rims that I should get and maybe get your ideas and see if they'll work. So anyway, let's continue to the video where I go to my buddy's house and work on his MKX. Um, he had another um, coil pack go out on him. So I have to replace that and go through all the troubleshooting on that. So let's uh, fast forward to that. So I'm at our buddy's house. Um, he got an error on his car, which I'll put in here, but, uh, basically it's running like crap. And the diagnosis is there is a misfire in cylinder one. So I went ahead and removed the cover. And there's a few things you can check to see what's going on with it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to switch coil packs from cylinder one to cylinder three or cylinder one to cylinder two, however it is. I think it's one, three, five, two, four, six. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing. Hopefully it's, uh, hopefully this is one or this is one, because if that's one back there, it's not easy to get to. So anyway, that's the first step. And then if it is a quail pack, we'll know right away because it'll follow the code will follow the, um, piston to cylinder three, for instance. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to switch it over and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, um, my luck is uh, cylinder number one is that one right there. Cylinder two. 
So I'm gonna flip cylinder one and cylinder two and uh, see if it falls. I've also unhooked uh, the battery terminal so I can reset the computer and all that good stuff. So I didn't notice anything noticeable about the plug. Um, obviously you're not gonna. I don't see any burn marks or anything wrong with the boot or anything itself. So I'm gonna put this in the spark plug two location and then zip them down. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Um, by the way, I had to loosen this thing up to get it out. Um, kind of lifted it up, the intake, and then I'll just zip it back down to put it in. So this whole pro process took me about 15 minutes. So I had to take this off to do the switch, unhook these pins, we got them all in now. Like I said, I unscrewed this to kind of give it the floating. And now I just got to put this back on. Then I got to hook up the battery again and uh, then see if the code comes back, which I'll take it down and get scanned. I don't have a scanner. I do all this work. I don't have a scanner. I need to get one, but uh, see if the code comes back and then we'll know right away. <clears throat> Well, the check engine light's off. Let's take this for a quick drive. It still sounds like a misfire. All right, here's the new part. We're just gonna replace the one. Um, if this fixes it, he's just gonna get, are you gonna get all the parts later? Maybe. Maybe. If this works, we'll figure it out. But we're just gonna replace uh, that one we swapped. We couldn't get the error code to come back up. It's been a day now and probably, I don't know, like 40 miles, 50 miles, something like that. But the car is still driving like crap. So, but we can't get the in check engine light to come on to test it. So we said, screw it. That's not good for an engine to run with a misfire like that. So we're just going to switch it out and see how it works. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Ready? No, 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 just took the remote. <laughs> anyway, the part, literally the part took two minutes to put on because it's in the front. So I'm going to try starting it. Oh, that sounds so much better. Yeah, that's the problem. Your thing's not doing putt-putt no more. Okay, these are the, the cells you had in there. It only lasted, what, how many years? Three years? Three years of some change, we bought them. Well, we bought it, we put them in at uh, January 17th. January 17th, so three years, three and a half years. Let's three say years. three years. Three and a half years. And then uh, we bought a set of these. They were only $167 for the whole set, $177, something like that. It, it was under 200 bucks, right under. But he, he just told me how much he spent on this one, like $90. But lifetime warranty. So if it ever goes out again, we'll see. All right, well, this concludes this video. Uh, this issue's resolved now. Um, I didn't have to reset the computer, but 
we really got to look at that right there and go from there. All right. Until next time, you guys have a good one. Bye.